Ladies and gentlemen, this is Laser Beam. Mm, good. <laughs> oh God, you might not know him, but you definitely know his memes. I feel like a parent in a sock again. Come on, come on, freshy boy, kick the soccer ball. Kick the soccer ball. Laser Beam is a guy who lives for the lols. His creative gameplay reminds us that the true winners in gaming are the ones that are having the most fun. Yeah. Gotcha, are you <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Pro Guides family? It's Cody, and Laser Beam has been killing the game for the past five years. His videos get upwards of five, seven, even 10 million views. But his success doesn't come from making killstreak montages like Mongrel does. Instead, it comes from making unique challenges out of the games we love. Win a sand lining. Win a sand, goddammit. Yes! Yes! That is a sad victory! <laughs> I'm back to being sad! That is a sad! His content is a reminder to everyone that video games are about having fun and keeping the gameplay from feeling stale and repetitive. So how does he do it? How did Laserbeam capture the attention of millions so quickly and break the internet? And where does he go from here? His future plans may surprise. Let's start at the beginning of the journey to mastery, and to do that, we have to go to the central coast of Australia. The bloody legend was born on December 14, 1994. He was named Lennon Ecott, supposedly a play on the name John Lennon from the Beatles. What is your name, lad? Uh, my name's Lennon Ecott. I am named after the Beatle John Lennon. My parents were high on drugs or something, I don't know, man. It was a different time. It was the 90s. Life was about as normal as it can be for a kid living in the central coast of Australia. But in 2009, Lenan had to drop out of high school to help support his family. Uh, did you go to school? Well, yeah, I, I, went, to, I went to high school. I, I dropped out in year 10, though. I'm a high school dropout. Just goes to show what you can achieve if you don't give a f about education. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Grady, my math teacher. I did amount to something. I, I didn't do, like, university, I didn't do college, I'm a high school dropout. Don't do it, though. My advice to anyone watching this video, stay in school, okay? School is so much better than real life, you don't even know. You don't even know. The construction company was the family business, but it didn't fulfill him. He wasn't sure what his future career would be, but he knew it wasn't going to be in construction. Bob the Builder may have been in his blood, but it wasn't in his heart. Uh, why did you start YouTube? Yeah, I, I just wanted to do something fulfilling, something I cared about, something I was passionate about, which uh, is always my main focus on YouTube. I want to be passionate. Lenan felt like his destiny was YouTube, but he wasn't sure what type of content to make. So he looked around and asked what he could do with what he already had to make his channel stand out. He started by using the industrial equipment from his family's construction company to host a slow motion fruit demolition channel known as Crush Slash. Sadly, it was also his fate to have his very expensive camera gear stolen and replacing it was just too expensive. And I used to just smash shit. Yeah, I really liked that channel. But sadly, all my camera gear got stolen, like five grand's worth. Couldn't afford to replace it, so I started the gaming channel. And uh, yeah, like two years later, here we are. That wasn't going to stop Lenan. Instead, he started his now famous Laser Beam channel and has maintained the same Let's Play concept to this day. So the only reason Laser Beam became a thing is because I got my <laughs> stolen. Laser Beam's channel initially focused on Madden gameplay, and immediately we could see his inclination towards the type of content we know and love today. In his very first video, we see Laser Beam attempt an impossible play on Madden, proving that it's not impossible, just a 1 in 247. He's got one guy to beat, and he misses him. He's gonna run around to kill the clock, and he's gonna do it. He just, he did it. Can Vince Wilfork get a 99-yard receiving touchdown? Madden NFL Challenge. His top comment created his now infamous catchphrase, and a bloody legend was born. 
After his dozen uploads of Madden challenges, he started experimenting with The Sims and GTA 5. Throughout it, all his channel seemed to only speed up in gaining new subs. On May 10th of 2015, just three months into his new YouTube channel, Laserbeam would upload his 1,000 sub celebration video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A thousand subscribers is amazing. To think that there's a thousand people that have enjoyed my videos enough to want to subscribe, it's just, it feels great, you know? But his channel kept growing, and on July 1st, 2015, he would celebrate his next milestone, gaining 50,000 subs and being able to make YouTube his full-time job. He celebrated this success by hosting his first face reveal, and in true Laserbeam fashion, ended the video by challenging himself with fitting as many party hats as he could fit on top of his head. I still got two more to go, and this one over here I used originally. We're not done yet. What a celebration of 50,000, eh? I don't, oh, I should become a vlogger. His sub count seemed to never stop growing, again doubling his subscriber count to 100k subs in less than two months. His content was still focused mostly on Madden and GTA challenges, but occasionally he would experiment with other games as well. He saw extremely fast success because in every video he consistently delivers a fun, fresh perspective to the game he plays. Laser Bean brings out the imagination within us to think of fun new ways to play the games we love. Now real quick, if you guys want to get pro coaching and VOD analysis, check out ProGuides.com. Back to matters at hand. I want to make videos I enjoy. I don't want to make videos just to get views, I don't want to make videos just to get subs. I want to make videos I enjoy, which is why you've noticed I've been playing more games, I've been experimenting with challenges in different games, and I've overall just been trying to mix things up a bit. His channel would continue its steady growth and quickly reach 1 million subs in just over two years. Shortly after this, the channel of Laserbeam was in jeopardy because a lot of his content was getting demonetized, meaning he wasn't seeing a cent for some of his videos with millions of views. The first video got age restricted because I did look at in a video. That was a mistake. But you made me do it. It was a fan suggestion video and a fan said straight up look at as if I'm not gonna do that. I hate money, as, as if I'm not gonna. But Laserbeam is not one to let any setback hold him back. He had set himself a goal. The goal was to only create content he wanted to truly make, and he wasn't going to give that up. He decided it was best to adapt to the new situation and move back in with his parents. Not fully, but uh, I had to cut back. So I'm leaving my apartment in Sydney and I'm moving my main setup here to my parents' house, which is why I'm renovating, I'm building a better space. Laserbeam has maintained a level of transparency with his fans and it has created a strong base of support. Even having a dedicated subreddit called r slash laserbeam where his fans can share memes and ideas to be used in his videos. But let's get back to YouTube. If you're paying attention to dates, you'll have noticed that something else pretty monumental came out in 2017 and it was also the year that took Laserbeam's channel to the major leagues. This is where he really started stepping it up. September 28th saw the release of the game we all know and love today, Fortnite. We all remember how Fortnite took the gaming world by storm. It was a new platform for gamers to make a name for themselves. So on October 17th, 2017, Laserbeam would post his first Fortnite video, number one battle royale strategy, Fortnite Battle Royale. He wasn't a natural at the game by any means, but he was determined to get that first victory royale. For some of us, it's incredibly difficult, but I'm setting myself a challenge. Today, I'm gonna to play three matches. We'll see how well I do. He would continue on this challenge and eventually complete it after trying for a solid 15 hours. 15 hours straight, dude. Oh my God, keep it up, you're a legend. Laserbeam earns his first legendary win by using a classic sky base. The sky is the limit with this guy. Man, he's so cool. Yes! 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 Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Oh my god! Oh my god! After
After this, the content on the channel was a variety of videos, but it wasn't until his no scope challenge video that he started to dedicate more of the channel to Fortnite related content. This was definitely the right step because it led to the creation of some of his most popular videos and another boom of subscribers. Today, Laserbeam is sitting comfortably with over 17 million subscribers, so you might be wondering what are the future plans for this legend? Nothing lasts forever, and this is true for Laserbeam too. Thankfully, the young 26-year-old lad has no plans of changing up the formula anytime soon. Today, his channel sits as one of the top gaming channels on YouTube, and that is nothing to joke about. Laserbeam may never go pro, but that was never his intention. Laserbeam set out to make content that he loved, content that he enjoyed making, and despite the setbacks, he stuck to it. I think that deserves Laserbeam the Victory Royale. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.